are our audience is in should i begin yeah i should begin okay thanks Welcome everyone. Uh, everyone who's watching this uh, YouTube live. Uh, if you have any questions related to the subject of digital marketing, uh, please share these questions on YouTube itself. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take questions uh, after each segment that I finish. So if you have any questions, please put it on the YouTube link itself, and uh, I will keep coming back and referring to the screen. uh for questions uh every time i have finished the segment okay at this point uh i can i can see comments by raj and i can see tushar etc who are saying hello hello everyone uh i'm just waiting for all the viewers to come in and then i will begin the session i hope i'm clearly audible to all of you all um in case i'm not please drop in a message and i'll know okay i think we can begin now uh good evening everyone uh my name is aman joshi um uh, i head digital marketing um i'm leading digital marketing at shimaru entertainment uh shimaru entertainment has uh, various businesses which are spread across largely in the entertainment seg segment uh some in the cloud kitchen segment uh and uh, largely into online streaming app youtube etc and i lead digital marketing with a team uh, which which supports me it's an internal team and that's how we look at uh, all facets of digital uh, i understand you've had one session yesterday and i was going through the link of the session yesterday uh, what i'm going to do is uh, I, i i saw the session from yesterday and i could understand that uh, uh there there is uh, uh there, there's a lot of stuff that got covered yesterday but what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to speak on specific subjects today which are mostly related to google and uh, uh, i'm going to i'm going to cover these subjects in um uh, in in a lot of detail so i'm going to go very uh, i'm going to go slow first of all and i'm going to try and clear most of your doubts on how google search works uh and if your understanding of that concept is clear then it will help you understand uh very well uh, how different facets within digital marketing work okay uh, but before i start that let me give you a quick introduction uh my name is aman joshi once again for those of you who have just joined in uh i lead digital marketing for shimaru and i've been uh, Uh, associated with all the businesses of shimaru that uh, shimaru is running and what's happening uh, mostly from a social media or from a digital marketing perspective is the stuff that my team takes care of uh besides uh, uh, my voice is too slow is it okay i i am i understand that uh, some of you may want to increase the volume from your own uh, uh from your own system so that you can hear me clearly i will try to be as loud as i can okay so as i was saying um, i lead digital marketing there and uh, uh, of course i i have a team that does it uh i should be able to uh, clear most of your doubts uh, also because besides uh, uh besides working uh, i have also been in the teaching space so i have been teaching the subject of digital marketing through seminars uh, and through colleges and through workshops uh, uh i largely um, also teach at wellinger institute of management which is a b school in bombay 
and uh, as as a guest faculty and uh, also as a faculty with the uh, national institute of digital communication it's also called nidc uh, you can look that them up on the internet uh, these are places that i'm associated with uh, done seminars in a lot of these schools in bombay a lot of uh, private seminars and a lot of uh, uh, on request kind of invites where i've spoken on the subject of digital marketing uh, in in seminars on television etc uh, however what's more important is that i've been in this uh, field for about the last 10 years which brings me to a very important part that uh, my understanding from of digital marketing comes from the time when digital marketing wasn't even a subject marketing was a subject digital marketing did not exist that's the time when i started working on the subject uh, also what has happened is uh, with all the teaching that i've been doing uh, it's become easier for me to answer questions because a lot of your questions are things that i have uh, in some way or the other come across from some of the other student so uh, be my guest be my student please ask questions uh, try asking your questions as soon as one segment is over and then i will go back and i'll run through those questions completely okay uh, let's take it from here uh, i hope my screen is visible to you and give me just one sec okay uh let me just see if my screen is visible to you oops okay there's a screen sharing issue um uh, give me just one sec guys i'm just trying to figure how do i share my screen uh for those of you okay sorry for that little glitch uh i hope you can see my screen now it will slowly start appearing on your desktop screens i hear that uh, there is also a request that i should speak uh, in hindi as well so what i'm going to do is I i'll speak in english i'll speak some of it in hindi some of it in english okay uh so let's begin with the first slide uh and i'll ask you actually a very important question and i know that there is no feedback backwards so you will not be able to answer my question but i'll still put this question to you and you should think about it and the question is very simple जब गूगल नहीं था तब क्या था वेन देर वॉज नो गूगल तब क्या हुआ करता था गुड क्वेश्चन टू थिंक अबाउट गुड थिंग थिंग टू पॉन्डर अबाउट जब गूगल नहीं था वी यूज टू हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड एज डायरेक्टरी वेबसाइट डायरेक्टरी वेबसाइट आर जस्ट लाइक हाउ यू सी येलो पेजेस टूडे सो देर यूज टू बी वेबसाइट जिसमें बहुत सारे यू नो डिफरेंट वेबसाइट के नाम होते थे तो आप उस वेबसाइट पे जाते थे एंड अगर आप देखते थे कि ए के अंदर कौन सी कौन सी वेबसाइट्स हैं सो ए के अंदर ए से स्टार्ट होने वाली जितनी भी वेबसाइट्स हैं उनके नाम होते थे एंड देन बी के अंदर और फिर ए के अंदर ऑटोमोबाइल की वेबसाइट्स फिर ए के अंदर अप्लायसेस की वेबसाइट्स ऐसे अलग अलग वेबसाइट होती थी एंड नहीं आई एम नॉट सेंग समू आर गिविंग मी आंसर लाइक वर्ड ऑफ माउथ ऑफलाइन एक्सेट्रा आई एम सेंग दैट जब गूगल नहीं था तो डिजिटली लोग सर्च कैसे करते थे नाउ द प्रॉब्लम ऑब्वियसली देर वाज अ प्रॉब्लम देयर लोगों को डायरेक्टरी वेबसाइट्स के नाम याद रखने पड़ते थे एंड डायरेक्टरी वेबसाइट्स पे जाने के बाद वो लोग पूरा सर्च करते थे जिन वेबसाइट्स पे उनको जाना है सो इट्स इट वाजंट द मोस्ट कंफर्टेबल वे टू यू नो एक्सेस द इंटरनेट एंड दैट इज एक्चुअली द द इनसाइट दैट द ओनर्स ऑफ गूगल हैड दे वर जस्ट अ बंच ऑफ प्रोग्रामर्स एंड Uh, when these programmers came together and they're actually very famous names today larry page and sergey brin when they came together they said ke hum aisa ek kaisa program design kar sakte hain jisse insaan 
जो उसके मन में आएगा वो सर्च करेगा वो उन कीवर्ड्स को लिखेगा एक सर्च बॉक्स में और उस कीवर्ड से रिलेटेड जितनी भी वेबसाइट्स हैं वो डिस्प्ले हो जाएंगी एंड हम जो चीजें सर्च में लिखते हैं गूगल के उनका उन्होंने नाम रख दिया दे कॉल्ड इट की सो पीपल विल सर्च फॉर की वर्ड्स एंड दो से रिलेटेड जितने भी वेबसाइट है दोज वेबसाइट विल गेट डिस्प्लेड ऑन द गूगल सर्च बार दैट्स हाउ गूगल स्टार्टेड नाउ give me just one sec guys now i'm going to show you a quick video on uh, how google search works give me just one sec My name is Matt Phelps. I'm an engineer at the Quality Group, and I'd like to talk today about what happens when you do a web search. The first thing to understand is that when you do a Google search, you aren't actually searching the web. You're searching Google's index of the web, or at least as much as we can find. We do this with software programs called spiders. The spiders start by fetching a few web pages, then they follow the links on those pages and fetch the pages they point to and follow all the links on those pages and fetch the pages they link to and so on until we've indexed a pretty big chunk of the web many billions of pages stored across thousands of machines now suppose i want to know how fast a cheetah can run i type in my search say cheetah running speed and hit return our software searches our index to find every page that includes those search terms In this case, there are hundreds of thousands of possible results. How does Google decide which few documents I really want? By asking questions, more than 200 of them, like, how many times does this page contain your keywords? Do the words appear in the title, in the URL, directly adjacent? Does the page include synonyms for those words? Is this page from a quality website or is it low quality, even spammy? What is this page's page rank? That's a formula invented by our founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin that rates a web page's importance by looking at how many outside links point to it and how important those links are. Finally, we combine all those factors together to produce each page's overall score and send you back your search results about half a second after you submit your search. At Google, we take our commitment to delivering useful and impartial search results very seriously. We don't ever accept payment to add a site to our index, update it more often, or improve its ranking. Let's take a look at my search results. Each entry includes a title, a URL, and a snippet of text to help me decide whether this page is what I'm looking for. I also see links to similar pages, Google's most recent stored version of that page, and related searches that I might want to try next. And sometimes, along the right and at the top. I'll see ads. We take our advertising business very seriously as well. Both our commitment to deliver the best possible audience for advertisers and to strive to only show ads that you really want to see. We're very careful to distinguish your ads from regular search results. And we won't show you any ads at all if we can't find any that we think will help you find the information you're looking for. Which in this case, the cheetah's top running speed is more than 60 miles an hour. Thanks for watching. I hope this made Google a little bit more understandable. Okay, I'm back. Uh thanks for watching guys. Um Okay. Uh I know you had some questions regarding the video not completely uh being audible. Give me just one sec. Every day. Okay. Give me just one sec, guys.
Yeah. Uh, I understand some of you had an issue uh, about the volume of that video. Um, and uh, you can just search for this video also on Google. It's called How Google Works by Matt Cutts. Uh, very simple words, they explain how Google search works. So basically, hum, you know, before watching this video, we were question answer kar rahe the, that uh, when there was no Google, people did what they did. People directory websites. Pe jate the. Then the owners of Google realized that we should write a software which people write their keywords in their heart. Those are keywords. They search for keywords. And what this software does and very nicely, this software ka inhone naam diya hai, and they've called this software a crawler or a spider. What this crawler does is it starts crawling the internet. It goes to the entire internet and looks for all the websites which have relevant content to those keywords. Okay. The job of this software is to crawl the internet and identify where is relevant content related to the keywords that are being searched for on the internet. These crawlers go to these websites. They make an index. And they make an index. It's just like a copy that they make in these websites. When the consumer searches any other thing, they make an index from the index. Se index mein se nikal ke dete Which is why you will notice when you search for something on Google, there is a link there. Search result given in 0.42 seconds, for example. This means that the Google crawler goes to 42 seconds in the index of your related keywords and the communication is coming out of your related That's how Google search works. Okay? I'm going to go back to sharing my screen. So, we have two things from this conversation. Se. We two things that in uh, Google search algorithm mein, there is something called our, as keywords. Keywords help Google understand what people are searching for. And crawlers and spiders are the algorithms that match these keywords with different websites and then display websites on the internet. Okay. Now I'll go to the next po point. There are two types of things that you will see on Google. When you do a Google search, I have a search here, which is written in Austria tour. Okay, keyword I have written Austria tour. Um, and mind you, I have not said Australia tours. I have said Austria tour. I'm probably a guy who's planning to travel to Austria. When I search for Austria, I have two types of search results. What you see as the first three, Unke baju mein ek yellow color ka chota sa tag hai which says that these are ads. So, uh, Australia tourist attraction, Austria tour, visit Austria at in 7990, these are ads. Uske start hota hai, five best of Austria tours, tour from Vienna to Salzburg. Ye organic result hai. Ye ek result hai which is not an ad. Uske niche hai tours in Austria, which is not an ad. Austria tours, which is the top of the page, this is not an ad. Jo aap right side pe dekh rahe hai, vertical strip mein. Austria tours, Austria sightseeing tours, etc. Ye jitte bhi hai, ye sab ads hai. So basically, Google mein jo koi bhi insaan kuch bhi search karta hai, koi bhi keyword dalta hai, to crawler do cheeja fekta hai. Ads and, and those results which are not ads. Thik hai? ये जो ads आपको दिखाई दे रहे हैं, इसका technical term in the Google language is also called as inorganic results. These are inorganic results. ये inorganically आए हैं. ये यहाँ पे इसलिए आए हैं क्योंकि ये ads दिखाने वाले लोगों ने पैसा दिया है इन ads को दिखाने के लिए. इसके नीचे जो हैं, जो तीन अभी इस फिलाल इस screenshot में दिख रहे हैं, these are organic results. Organic results. ये वो results हैं, ये वो results हैं जो इसलिए आ रहे हैं because uh, results are coming from this because they organically pick up. Hua hai. Now, let me show you another example. Uh, let me show you another example. Um, 
मैं एक नया सर्च विंडो खोलता हूँ और मैं यहाँ पे लिखता हूँ सर्च करता हूँ वॉच बागी थ्री अभी रिलीज हुई है कुछ टाइम पहले बागी थ्री जब मैं लिखता हूँ वॉच बागी थ्री तो दो चीजें दिखाई देती है मुझे दिस इज एन एड हॉटस्टार डॉट कॉम एंड दिस इज नॉट एन एड दिस इज एन दिस इज समथिंग फ्रॉम कोरा कोरा इज इज अ वेबसाइट वेर यू कैन आस्क क्वेश्चन एंड पीपल आंसर योर क्वेश्चन फिर ऐसे दूसरे वेबसाइट्स हैं और डिटेल्स हैं बागी के बारे में आई भी है मूवी वेबसाइट्स एक्सेट्रा दीज आर ऑल ऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट एवरीथिंग इज ऑर्गेनिक दिस इज इन ऑर्गेनिक दिस इज इन ऑर्गेनिक बिकॉज ए पर्टिकुलर ब्रांड राइट नाउ इज ट्राइंग टू सेल सब्सक्रिप्शन टू पीपल सो दैट दे कैन वॉच बागी वॉट यू सी ऑन द राइट साइड इज कॉल्ड एज अ नॉलेज पैनल नॉलेज पैनल अगेन ऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट होता है बागी से रिलेटेड जितनी भी इंफॉर्मेशन है उन्होंने गूगल ने खुद एक बॉक्स में डाल दी है नाउ नॉलेज पैनल्स आर क्रिएटेड इफ द द कीवर्ड दैट इज बीइंग सर्च फॉर उससे रिलेटेड जो इंफॉर्मेशन है अगर बहुत ज्यादा फेमस है सो इट्स कॉल्ड अ नॉलेज पैनल लेट मी जस्ट सी इफ देर आर एनी क्वेश्चन ओके Okay, you can't see. Okay, give me just one sec. If you can't see this, I'll try to share it again. Okay, I'll do take this example again. Uh, I hope आपको मेरा Google screen दिख रहा है. इसमें मैंने एक search keyword डाला हुआ है. It says watch Bagi Three. Can you see this? ओके सो मैं आपको एक सर्च एंट्री दिखा रहा हूँ मेरी गूगल पे जाके मैंने सर्च किया है वॉच बागी थ्री नाउ बागी थ्री में मुझे दो चीजें दिखाई दे रही हैं इन ऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट विच इज बेसिकली एक एड जो एक कंपनी दिखा रही है सेइंग दैट यू कैन वॉच दिस पर्टिकुलर मूवी यू कैन वॉच दिस पर्टिकुलर मूवी ऑन हॉट Uh, यहाँ पे आपको राइट right साइड पे जो दिख रहा है एज अ नॉलेज पैनल जहाँ पे इस मूवी के बारे में डिटेल्स हैं एंड नीचे आपको दिखाई दे रहे हैं ऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट्स नाउ दिस इज ऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट्स जो खुद आ रहे हैं गूगल पे नॉलेज पैनल किसी भी फेमस चीज का गूगल खुद क्रिएट कर देता है एंड दिस इज एन इन ऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट विच इज एन एड ठीक है थ्री पार्ट है आई एम गोइंग टू स्विच ओवर बैक टू द प्रेजेंटेशन and i will make it full screen i can see some people are requesting me to do that okay uh, i hope my screen is visible to you uh is screen pe filhal main dikha raha hu aapko mere mera search which is austria tours jis pe ye teen inorganic results hain fir teen organic results hain aur wapas teen inorganic results hain now google mein you have to do two things as an entrepreneur as a businessman or anyone who's running any kind of digital business you have to constantly ensure that you are constantly at the first position in in organic results matlab google pe jitne bhi ads aate hain isme aapko hamesha first place pe hona zaruri hai this is important because obviously the number of clicks jo is particular ad ko milte hain austria tour attractions tourist attractions by expat explore these clicks are far higher than the clicks that come for let's take the last one in the row summer holidays in the pura complete nahi hua hai in randstad.com so obviously no one clicks on these ads in fact more than 90% of people don't go to page 2 of google so constantly as an entrepreneur as as a business owner as a website as a company there are two things that you need to pay attention to one is you are always number 1 in in organic results which is in the ads you are always number 1 second is you are always number 1 in the in the in organic in the organic results which is the ones which are non ad led sorry agar main galat bol gaya hu the first one is that you have to be number 1 in inorganic results and you also have to be number 1 in organic results 
so in my in this session today what i'm going to first start is how do you become number 1 in organic results okay any questions till here please ask so i'll i'll take a pause and uh, i'll first answer questions okay i am just looking at the questions being asked uh, how do you know the difference between organic and inorganic results okay what are organic and inorganic results okay i am assuming you are still at my uh, i am assuming you are still at the presentation screen i'll go back there yeah anything when you search for something on google that appears as an ad is an inorganic result ye inorganic isliye hai because in logon ne paise diye hain uh, on a google dashboard so that their ad is shown inorganic results ye sare ads hain inke aage ad likha hua hai ad 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 right side pe jo aapko vertically dikh rahe hain ye bhi ads hain inke upar ads likha hua hai and these are all ads inorganic results organic results wo hain जो खुद गूगल ने पिकअप किए हैं और यहाँ पर दिखाए हैं सो एज अ ब्रांड और एन ऑन्टरप्रेनर एज अ कंपनी इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू आर ऑलवेज नंबर वन इन इन ऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट विच इज योर एड इज राइट ऑन टॉप योर एड इज बेटर देन अदर पीपल एडवर्टाइजिंग फॉर द सेम प्रोडक्ट दैट देर सेलिंग एंड सेकेंड इज यू आर ऑलवेज नंबर वन इन ऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट विच मीन्स गूगल ऑटोमेटिकली पिक्स यू एज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट वेबसाइट दैट शुड बी शोन वेन सम वन सर्चेज for a cert certain or a particular set of keywords in this case the keyword of search is austria tour as soon as someone searches for austria tour uh five day best of austria tour from vienna to salzburg shows up by www.w.viator.com so viator.com has actually become page 1 rank 1 the google algorithm which decides ऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट्स में कौन सबसे ऊपर आएगा इज कॉल्ड द पेज रैंक एल्गोरिथम सो गूगल का पेज रैंक एल्गोरिथम आज की तारीख में ये सोचता है दैट वाइटर डॉट कॉम हैज द बेस्ट इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू द की वर्ड दैट है की वर्ड सर्च फॉर आर ऑस्ट्रिया टूअर ऑस्ट्रिया टूअर से सबसे ज्यादा रेलिवेंट इंफॉर्मेशन वाइटर डॉट कॉम पे है इसलिए वाइटर डॉट कॉम ऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट में पेज वन रैंक वन है वाइटर डॉट कॉम गूगल पेज रैंक एल्गोरिथम के हिसाब से पेज वन रैंक वन है लोनली प्लान डॉट कॉम जो उसके नीचे का सर्च रिजल्ट है वो गूगल सर्च इंजन एल्गोरिथम के हिसाब से या फिर पेज रैंक के हिसाब से सेकेंड पेज रैंक पर है लोनली प्लान डॉट कॉम तीसरा है अफोर्डेबल टूअर्स एक्सेट्रा Now it is important के organic results में आप constantly number वन पे आए और ads में भी आप number वन पे आए ये इसलिए important है because the consumer any any person who search surfs the internet or browses the internet इस internet surfing audience जो world में है इसमें clear distinction है दो type के लोगों का कुछ लोग वो होते हैं जो कोई भी word keyword word search करते हैं और पहले result पे click करते हैं इट मे शो हैपन दैट मेक दैट दे मे क्लिक ऑन एक्सपर्ट एक्सप्लोर डॉट कॉम वो ये नहीं देखते कि वो एड है कि नहीं एंड देर आर सम पीपल हु कॉन्स्टेंटली ओनली क्लिक ऑन दोज सर्च रिजल्ट विच आर नॉट एड्स दे चूज नॉट टू क्लिक ऑन एड्स दे चूज नॉट टू क्लिक ऑन एड्स क्योंकि शायद उनको ऐसा लगता है कि यार जिस आदमी ने पैसा दिया मैं उसका एड नहीं देखना चाहता हूँ मैं उसकी लिंक नहीं देखना चाहता हूँ मैं खाली वो लिंक देखूंगा जहाँ पे एड नहीं है सो Uh, a lot of people click only organic results isliye aapke liye important ye hai as a business owner as, as a website as a company that aap constantly number 1 rank pe ho organic results mein aur jab aapke ads chale to aapke ads mein bhi aap constantly in organic results mein number 1 pe ho this is important okay the process by which you make changes 
to your website in such a way that your website always wins the page rank algorithm to become page 1 rank 1 in organic in the organic results is called the process of search engine optimization search engine optimization seo aapne bahut bar ye word suna hai a lot of people talking about वेबसाइट का एस सी अच्छा होना चाहिए ये एस का मतलब क्या है एस का मतलब बहुत सिंपल है उसका मतलब उसी के डेफिनेशन में डिफाइंड है सर्च इंजन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इसका मीनिंग ये है कि आपको आपकी वेबसाइट पे कुछ ऐसे चेंजेस करने हैं ताकि जब सर्च इंजन गूगल का सर्च इंजन आपकी वेबसाइट को क्रॉल करे आपकी वेबसाइट पर आए इट ऑटोमेटिकली tends to believe that your website should be given page 1 rank 1 for what is being searched for so how will you optimize your website in a way how will you make changes to your website such that it becomes more search engine friendly the process of making your website friendlier to the search engine algorithm is called search engine optimization it's very simple अगर आपको बोला जा रहा है आपको एजेंसीज मिलती हैं बहुत बार जो आपको बताती हैं कि आपके वेबसाइट का एस अच्छा नहीं है कभी कभी आप अपने पार्टनर्स कंपेरेटर्स से सुनते हैं दैट आपके वेबसाइट का एस अच्छा नहीं है व्हाट दे आर ऑल टेलिंग यू इज दैट आपको आपकी वेबसाइट पे कुछ ऐसे चेंजेस करने हैं ताकि योर वेबसाइट बिकम्स फ्रेंडलियर टू द गूगल एल्गोरिथम द गूगल पेज रैंक एल्गोरिथम सच दैट यू ऑलवेज अपेयर ऑन पेज वन रैंक वन एम आई क्लियर टिल हियर एनी क्वेश्चन टिल हियर एस कैसे करते हैं मैं इसके आगे बताऊंगा बट राइट नाउ इफ देर आर एनी क्वेश्चन ऑन एस सी ओ प्लीज आस्क मी ओके आई एम गॉन टेक सम ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन दीज आर नाइस क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द मैक्स नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक एंड इनऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट दैट कैन बी शोन इट डिपेंड्स देर इज नो पर्टिकुलर नंबर टू से के ऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट हमेशा दस होंगे इनऑर्गेनिक हमेशा तीन होंगे ऐसा कोई नंबर नहीं है इट ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स स्पेशली इन ऑर्गेनिक में इट ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन द नंबर ऑफ पीपल एडवर्टाइजिंग एट दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम सो इफ देर आर इफ देर इज नो एडवर्टाइजर फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर विल बी नो एड्स इफ देर आर टू मेनी एडवर्टाइजर्स ये देर इज अ बिडिंग मॉडल बिटवीन दैम एंड यू विल सी सम एड्स ओके how do we differentiate organic and organic i have already spoken of that what are spiders i have spoken of that can you be in organic and inorganic results at the same time yes very interesting question yes you can be in organic and inorganic results at the same time and this happens very often because aapke uh, website ka seo itna acha hai ke organically aap automatically number 1 pe aate hain Uh, आपके जो एड्स चल रहे हैं वो इतने अच्छे हैं कि आप इनऑर्गेनिक में ऑटोमेटिकली नंबर वन पे आते हैं ओके कैन वी कंट्रोल द ऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट्स दैट गूगल थ्रोज यू कैन नॉट कंट्रोल द ऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट्स दैट गूगल थ्रोज बट व्हाट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन ओनली मेक चेंजेस टू योर वेबसाइट सो दैट द गूगल पेज रैंक एल्गोरिथम ट्राइज टू गिव यू अ बेटर पेज रैंक वेन इट शोज रिजल्ट ऑन द गूगल सर्च पेज this process is what i'm talking about right now that process is called search engine optimization commonly known as seo how much google charges for ads uh, ads will be taken separately as a subject and uh, that's that's a question you should ask over there uh, typically it is costed at cost per click or cost per 1000 impressions and that cost per click could be anywhere between say 5 bucks to 50 bucks but that's a bidding model it's a longer topic it will be taken separately uh okay do we have to pay for organic results no we don't have to pay for organic results we only have to pay for inorganic results for organic results we only need to perform seo Okay. Okay. Let me look for more questions. Uh, give some examples of websites who are using SEO the best way. 
uh, the interesting thing is that uh, any agar aap koi bhi search result kuch bhi search kare any keyword that you search in google the first site that you see jo sabse pehle page 1 rank 1 hai organic results mein it is the site which is doing the best seo and there are you know every search that you perform you will see someone doing such good seo that's the reason why they are on number 1 that's why they got uh, the number 1 place how can we be first in organic the answer for that is seo i'm going to teach more of that okay let's go ahead and now talk about what are good seo practices how do we do seo for our website i'm assuming you can see my screen uh oh i understand there's a lag okay give me just one sec guys hello everyone i'm going back to the presentation okay can you see my screen again we are back to the example of austria tours now we are talking about seo kaise karna hai hame एंड हमें ऑर्गेनिक रिजल्ट में नंबर वन कैसे बनना है आई मूव टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड कैन यू सी माई नेक्स्ट स्लाइड विच हैज टू पार्ट लार्जली समथिंग विच विच पॉइंट एंड सेज ऑफ पेज एस यू समथिंग दैट पॉइंट एंड सेज ऑन पेज एस यू ओके सो आई एम टेक बोथ ऑफ दीज टॉपिक्स वॉट इज ऑफ पेज एस यू वॉट इज ऑन पेज एस यू the changes i i'm going to take the right side first on page seo okay now listen to me carefully the changes that you make to your website on your website on the front end and the back end of your website is called on page seo the changes that you make outside your website is called off page seo or on page seo ka matlab ye hai कि आप कुछ चेंजेस कर रहे हैं आपके वेबसाइट के डिजाइन में आपके वेबसाइट के कंटेंट में आपके वेबसाइट के बैकएंड में सो दैट योर वेबसाइट इज बिकमिंग फ्रेंडलियर टू द गूगल पेज रैंक एलगोरिथम इज ऑन पेज ऑफ पेज एस यू मीन देर आर सर्टन थिंग्स दैट यू आर डूइंग विच आर आउटसाइड योर वेबसाइट ऑन अदर वेबसाइट मे बी ऑन सोशल मीडिया मे बी ऑन न्यूज वेबसाइट थिंग्स दैट आर है not on your website on other people's websites is called off page seo the process of seo is such ke aapko constantly do cheeze karni hai aapko constantly aapka on page seo better karna hai so that your website becomes better and friendlier to the search engine algorithm and second aapko constantly off page seo karna hai so that other websites recommend you as a good website other websites point out redirect traffic to your website to say that hey this is this this is a good website to to look for your product on page website on page seo now i'll take all the points on on page seo one by one site speed sabse niche wala uthaya hai maine which looks like a clock over there site speed aapke website ki web speed bahut achhi hona zaruri hai if your website opens within 3 seconds you have a good site speed if your website opens in 4 or 5 seconds you are not doing a great job if it takes more than 5 seconds then you really need to talk to your developer and you really need to get changes done because uh, people don't wait for websites to open for so long internet audience ka patience itna zyada nahi hai that they will wait for 5 8 or 10 seconds for a website to open they will switch screens they will go elsewhere they will probably end up on social media but they will not wait for you for so long so it's important that your website has very good speed google page rank algorithm aise websites ko better page rank deta hai site uptime google page rank algorithm gives higher credibility to those websites which are always on ऑलवेज ऑन का मतलब ये है कि माय वेबसाइट इज रनिंग 24/7 ऐसा नहीं होता है कि मेरी वेबसाइट हर सैटरडे संडे बंद होती है या दिन भर चलती है रात भर बंद रहती है इफ माय वेबसाइट इज अप एंड रनिंग ऑल द टाइम इफ माय वेबसाइट ऐसा नहीं होता है कि उसमें इतने बग्स निकलते हैं इतने टेक्निकल इश्यूज हो जाते हैं कि ये वेबसाइट बार बार बंद करनी पड़ती है इफ दैट्स नॉट द इशू योर साइट अप टाइम विल ऑलवेज बी मोर 
and you will get better page rank keyword and content optimization aapke website pe constantly wo sare keywords hone chahiye jo aapke product se related hai agar aapki website uh, apparel bechti hai clothing bechti hai then everything related to clothing should be there all the keywords that people could search for should be there on your website if you are well optimized in terms of keywords and content related to apparel if you are an apparel maker then google page rank will give you better uh, better ranking because of good on page seo rich content meaning aapki website pe bahut sara not just text hona chahiye but videos infographs gifs all kind of multimedia hona chahiye jitna zyada multimedia hai aapke website pe utna zyada the google page rank algorithm tends to believe that this website has relevant content about this subject and hence it should be given a higher page rank okay headings page titles meta tags ye naam aapne shayad sune nahi honge but these are basically tags which are in the back end of your website okay aapki website ka ek source code hota hai so if you are running any website you can just right click anywhere on the website and when the window opens on right clicking just go and view source code when you do a view source code it shows you all the different uh, it shows you basically the back end of your website it shows you the code which is running when your website loads so jab aap source code dekhte hain to usme aap ye meta tags page titles headers dekhte hain ये होते क्या हैं? ये बेसिकली आपके बैकएंड में कुछ कोड्स होते हैं जो डिफाइन करते हैं व्हाट इज दिस वेबसाइट अबाउट ओके सो देर विल बी अ मेटा टैग विच विल विच देर विल बी अ डिस्क्रिप्शन मेटा टैग विच विल डिस्क्राइब देर विल बी अ रिटर्न डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट योर वेबसाइट दिस डिस्क्रिप्शन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट और ऑल ऑफ दीज हेडर्स एंड मेटा टैग्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट इन द बैक एंड ऑफ योर वेबसाइट सो दैट जब गूगल का सर्च इंजन एल्गोरिथम आता है पेज रैंक एल्गोरिथम आपके वेबसाइट पर आता है तो वो बैक एंड में पढ़ के आइडेंटिफाई कर सके व्हाट इज दिस वेबसाइट अबाउट द पेज रैंक एल्गोरिथम एनी वेज सीज द फ्रंट एंड ऑफ योर वेबसाइट बट ये बैक एंड भी देखता है एंड आइडेंटिफाई करता है व्हाट इज दिस वेबसाइट अबाउट साइट आर्किटेक्चर एंड कोडिंग सो गूगल पेज रैंक एल्गोरिथम ये आइडेंटिफाई करता है कि आपके वेबसाइट का आर्किटेक्चर एकदम प्रॉपर है फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आप अपैरल बिजनेस में हैं तो आपके वेबसाइट पर फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर कैटेगरीज विच इज मेन्स अपैरल वुमेन्स अपैरल मेन्स अपैरल में है कैजुअल क्लोदिंग फॉर्मल क्लोदिंग फॉर्मल क्लोदिंग के अंदर है ट्राउजर्स शर्ट्स शर्ट्स के अंदर है हाफ स्लीव शर्ट्स फुल स्लीव शर्ट्स उसके अंदर स्कर्ट्स की कैटेगरी नहीं आ सकती है इफ यू पुट एन इन करेक्ट कैटेगरी ओवर देर देन योर साइट आर्किटेक्चर इज इन करेक्ट गूगल डज नॉट लाइक दैट देन योर पेज रैंक विल ऑटोमेटिकली गो डाउन डुप्लीकेट कॉन्टेंट अलॉट ऑफ पीपल थिंक अगर मेरी वेबसाइट अपैरल के बारे में है या फिर मेरी वेबसाइट अगर मेन्स शर्ट्स के बारे में है तो मैं मेन्स शर्ट्स के ऊपर एक पैराग्राफ लिखता हूँ और वेबसाइट के हर पेज पे वो पैराग्राफ कॉपी पेस्ट कर देता हूँ ताकि जब सर्च इंजन एल्गोरिथम मेरी वेबसाइट पे आए तो उसको लगे कि मेन्स शर्ट्स के बारे में बहुत सारी चीजें लिखी हुई है इस वेबसाइट पे बट दैट्स रॉन्ग गूगल एल्गोरिथम को यह समझ में आ जाता है दैट द कॉन्टेंट इज डुप्लीकेट तो वो आपकी पेज रैंक ऑटोमेटिकली कम कर देता है ओके this was on page seo let's go to off page seo your website now i'm going from the top link building your website needs to have good link building that means a lot of external websites should redirect traffic to your website external websites it's like other people saying ke ye dukaan mein jao is pe acha maal milta hai you need to have links constantly build links which will say that you are a good website your website needs to be mobile optimized which means your website should open properly whether you see it on a desktop whether you see it on a mobile seeing on a on a mobile meaning you will yourself notice when you open a website that requires you to do a side scroll a sideways scrolling with your thumb it's just bad experience so aap dekhenge most websites automatically rearrange ho jati hain when you open them on a mobile aapko bhi aapke developer ko yahi bolna hai that make me a website which is well optimized on mobile और हर बाहर दुनिया में कोई भी टाइप की स्क्रीन हो कोई भी टाइप का स्क्रीन साइज हो उस पर बराबर खुले ऑन अ सिक्स इंच फोन ऑन अ ऑन अ ट्वेल्व इंच टैबलेट ऑन अ सिक्सटीन इंच लैपटॉप एवरीवेयर इट शुड ओपन प्रॉपरली ब्लॉग्स एंड आर्टिकल्स देर शुड बी ब्लॉग्स एंड आर्टिकल्स आउटसाइड एंड प्रेस रिलीज देर शुड बी न्यूज आर्टिकल्स रिटर्न आउटसाइड विच ब्रिंग ट्रैफिक टू योर वेबसाइट विच से दैट दिस इज अ गुड ब्रांड डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू डॉट वट एवर डॉट कॉम इज अ गुड ब्रांड टू बाई योर प्रोडक्ट्स फ्रॉम 
की वर्ड रिसर्च जो लोग आपके वेबसाइट को जिस नाम से पहचानते हैं आपके प्रोडक्ट या ब्रांड को जिस नाम से पहचानते हैं दोज की वर्ड्स यू नीड टू डू रिसर्च ऑफ दोज की वर्ड्स आउटसाइड ऑन गूगल एंड देन इंश्योर दैट ऑल दोज की वर्ड्स आर प्रेजेंट ऑन योर वेबसाइट सो दैट द सर्च इंजन एलगोरिथम इज एबल टू मैप दैट ओ दिस इज दीज आर द की वर्ड्स पीपल आर सर्चिंग फॉर एंड वेन दे सर्च फॉर दीज की वर्ड्स दिस वेबसाइट हैज ऑल दोज की वर्ड्स एंड द कॉन्टेंट अराउंड दोज की वर्ड्स एंड दिस वेबसाइट शुड बी थ्रोन अप and lastly social optimization you should have good positive things said about you in social media for your website to good, have good uh, seo okay uh important functions within seo i have spoken of all of them sabse important function aapke liye ye hai that seo hota hai for a certain set of keywords okay so when you are starting seo sabse pehle you will you will also and you might also end up hiring an seo agency and what the seo agency will do for you is uh, they will uh, they will first ask you what are the keywords for which you want to do seo for agar meri apparel website hai to shoes ke liye mujhe seo nahi karna hai agar koi shoes kharidega to mujhe apni website nahi dikhani hai lekin apparel mein koi bhi kuch bhi likhega jo mere products mein sell kar raha hu to meri website dikhni chahiye so i need to first of all give my seo agency a set of 20 keywords or maybe 25 keywords jiske liye wo log seo karenge you may want to analyze your competition ke main jab ye keyword search karta hu to mere competition ki website kaun se number pe aati hai and identify create your own list of keywords jo seo ke liye jaane chahiye and then you have to find enough content which is related to those keywords that goes up on your websites and on social media and externally and you have to constantly build build links for your seo okay uh kuch black hat techniques bhi hain seo ki a lot of people agencies will tell you black hat techniques they will tell you keywords stuffing ya cloaking kar lete hain basically iska matlab ye hota hai ki main apparel ka business chalata hu main bahut sare casual men's casual clothing bechta hu men's casual clothing ke bahut sara range hai mere website pe so main kya karunga apne website ke if my website is white in color Uh, or, or rather, uh, what I'll do is I will write one good paragraph about men's casual clothing, and then I'll keep pasting that same paragraph on every page on my website. To think that when Google's algorithm will see my website, it will think that there is a lot of content here, men's casual clothing, and my page rank will increase. No, Google gets it. When you stuff keywords, uh, when you stuff keywords, 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 गूगल एल्गोरिथम को पता चल जाता है इफ यू पुट इनविजिबल टेक्स्ट फॉर एग्जांपल मेरी वेबसाइट का बैकग्राउंड कलर व्हाइट कलर का है मैं मेंस कैजुअल क्लोथिंग व्हाइट फॉन्ट से पूरे वेबसाइट के पेज पे लिख दूंगा फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम सो दैट एल्गोरिथम को ऐसा लगे कि मेंस कैजुअल क्लोथिंग पे बहुत ज्यादा टेक्स्ट लिखा हुआ है इस वेबसाइट पे कलर तो शायद समझेगा नहीं उसको नहीं बट दीज आर ब्लैक हेड टेक्निक्स गूगल एल्गोरिथम कैचेस दीस टेक्निक्स एंड इट रिड्यूसेस योर पेज रैंक सो माय सीरियस एडवाइस वुड बी प्लीज डोंट पार्टिसिपेट इन एनी ऑफ दीस black hat techniques uh that's my session on uh, seo uh, uh now uh, i know some of you may have questions on seo kaise karna chahiye should you do it yourself or should you hire an agency to do it uh here is what i'd advise uh, if you can hire an agency it's it's the best thing to do uh an agency to do seo for you today in in india will cost you anything between about 1500 to 2000 bucks a month to as high as a lakh and a half a month and it really depends upon how much effort they are putting for your business in terms of how many keywords have you given them kyunki unko us keywords se khali aapka on page seo nahi karna hai they also need to do generate those many press releases articles etc about you for off page seo तो आप जितने ज्यादा आर्टिकल राइटिंग उनसे करवाएंगे सोशल मीडिया एंगेजमेंट करवाएंगे उतना ज्यादा वो आपसे चार्ज करेंगे सो यू यू कैन चूज एन एजेंसी इन दैट रेंज यू कैन आल्सो ट्राई डूइंग योर एस बाय योरसेल्फ बट ऑनेस्टली आई टेल यू मोस्ट ऑन्टरप्रेनर्स फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट डू इट बिकॉज ऑन पेज एस तो फिर भी वन टाइम एक्टिविटी है यू नो यू मे वॉन्ट डू इट वन क्वार्टर सो ऑन पेज एस आप खुद कर लेंगे बट ऑफ पेज एस सी ओ इज अ प्रॉब्लम इट्स अ कंटिन्यूस एक्टिविटी एंड टू डू ऑफ पेज एस सी uh most entrepreneurs start with a lot of uh, gas and they write a lot of articles etc but then they kind of wear out over over a period of time because you know you have to just put more effort on your business rather than just write articles about yourself 
so uh, try hiring an agent agency that can do this for you give them a strong list of 20 to 25 keywords jo consumer search kar- karega aapke bare mein jab aapke brand ke bare mein sochta hai ya koi product ke bare mein sochta hai that you are selling from your website that keyword should be on your seo list then your agency will start doing seo for those keywords okay i'm going to switch screens and uh, or i'll re- let the screen be on but i'm just going to take some more questions uh it we can't do digital marketing in google well uh, i think uh, you can do it you can do it through whatsapp and etc but you know what happens as soon as you start doing good digital marketing the first thing that happens is people start searching for you and uh, today google has become the most synonymous first touch place for someone to search for a brand so what they're going to immediately do is if they come to know about you even from a whatsapp message they're going to search for you on the internet and without a website it's not a great idea uh, you know because they they will not find you but there's a high possibility they'll find your competitor and they might go to your competitor's page okay uh, how can we put our product in google for organic business As i said you have to create a website and uh, you you need to do seo for your website okay i'm going to come down to take a few more questions uh how to become an seo agency well if you want to become an seo agency uh you will have to start uh with first identifying uh uh do you have the capabilities to do on page off page seo or not uh how to justify the value paid to an agency very good question bahut logo ko ye sawal aata hai ki main seo to kar raha hu but uh, i you know a lot of people tend to believe that you know i'm paying a lot of money for the seo that i'm doing uh, the answer is fairly simple actually what you need to identify is if you're paying money to an agency for doing your seo the first thing you need to do is uh, identify for your set of 25 keywords where do you stand as on today so for each of these keywords meri website kaun se ranking pe aati hai what is which page and which number so suppose my keyword let's take the apparel business my keyword that i'm saying is men's casual clothing or uh, actually people don't search that way people would search something like cheap men's t-shirts or graphic t-shirts for men very common keyword in the apparel industry graphic t-shirts for men और ग्राफिक टी शर्ट फॉर बॉयज ये की वर्ड के लिए सबसे पहले मैं आज ये की वर्ड सर्च करूंगा और मैं देखूंगा मैं कौन से पेज पे कौन से नंबर पे आता हूँ सो आई विल नोटिस दैट ओके प्रॉबेबली आई कम ऑन पेज नाइन एट नंबर सेवन नाउ वेन आई गिव इट टू माई एजेंसी आई विल आस्क दम टू मेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस एंड गिव इट टू मी ऑन एन एक्सेल शीट सेंग दैट ओके राइट नाउ फॉर ईच ऑफ योर ट्वेंटी फाइव की वर्ड योर ऑन सो एंड सो पेज ओके देन आई विल मॉनिटर दैम एवरी एवरी मंथ टू आस्क दैम ऑन पेज में आपने मेरे लिए क्या क्या चेंजेस किए और ऑफ पेज पे आपने कितने मेरे लिए आर्टिकल्स लिखे ऑफ पेज में आपने कितना ज्यादा मेरे लिए बेसिकली सोशल मीडिया एक्सेट्रा किया एंड उसका इफेक्ट क्या हुआ नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट मंथ यू शुड प्रोबेबली सी दैट फॉर ग्राफिक टी शर्ट फॉर बॉयज वेन यू डू दैट सर्च एक्चुअली यू शुड दिस टाइम यू शुड बी ऑन पेज नाइन रैंक सेवन यू शुड बी ऑन पेज एट सेवन सिक्स और यू नो यू शुड बी ऑन अर्लियर पेजेस and if that's happening to all your 25 keywords then your agency is doing a good job uh, and you can keep paying them basically okay uh, is blog important for a e-commerce website for good seo results yes a good question is a is, is it a good idea to add a blog to my website to get better results on seo a lot of uh, a lot of websites do it so uh, let's take the example of uh, graphic t-shirts now uh, i could run a website which has good graphical t-shirts uh, and i write a lot about those t-shirts and i show my pro- product but i also want to write about the process of screen printing for example just to give a better understanding of how these t-shirts get printed ab ye conversation agar main us product ke upar likhunga to fir mera product thoda boring ho jayega aur uska process zyada important ho jayega so rather a lot of brands do this they create a blog on the website and on the blog they explain all these other features about their product how is it made where is it made 
authenticity, CSR, they put all of that to improve their SEO. So it's a good idea to put a blog if you have enough content to put on your blog. Otherwise, a lot of companies make blogs and then they die out because they don't know what to do with it beyond three months. How to find a good SEO agency? Well, you could Google it. You could ask friends. Uh, you could uh, ask multiple agencies in your area to come back and show you their credentials of what kind of work they've already done and what kind of work they can do for you. And then you could make a choice based on costing. Okay, let me look for more questions that I can take up. Uh, are there any Google courses related to SEO? Okay, uh, Google runs various courses on analytics, SEO, Google AdWords, etc. You can just Google it and you will get all these courses. Uh, you can also try and become Google certified professional. Uh, a Google certified professional is someone who knows to run Google AdWords very well, which is the ad part, uh, which will be taken later by somebody. But uh, if you uh, are Google certified for that, it helps you on your resume, uh, but it's a tough exam. I am Google certified, but I gave it a long back and I found it tough. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you will find it tough. Uh, it has two parts. It has a fundamentals and an, and, an, and an advanced. So you have to pass two exams and then it gives you a certificate saying that you're Google certified. But there's a lot of reading material already available on Google. You should go through it. Okay. Uh, every businessman must be using SEO in that case to stay on the top. Yes. Every businessman who understands digital uh, is already doing it. Most people are already doing it. They are trying to increase their searches. Obviously, if you have page one, rank one, you will get traffic, you will get inquiries, you will get sales. Aega. If you're on page two, if you're on page three, if you're on page 10, forget about it. Nothing's coming from digital really. Uh, products sold on Amazon, organic results or inorganic products sold on Amazon. Again, just like Google has, like Amazon has also its own organic and inorganic understanding. Hai. So you will see, Amazon pe aap kuch bhi search karte hai, toh, sare products dikhai dete hai in the list. Those are inorganic results. Uh, sorry, those are organic results. But you will see inorganic bhi dikhai dete hai. Some products paid says sponsored product. So those are the inorganic results in uh, uh, Amazon. And Amazon has its own algorithm to decide organic and inorganic, just like... Uh, page ranking in Google. Uh, okay, uh, who is totally new? How does he identify what are the criteria to search for appropriate SEO company? If you're extremely new, try and ask a few friends in the digital marketing domain. Uh, who can connect you with uh, some digital agencies. Try asking some people who run in marketing agencies, etc. Uh, if you uh, uh, if you are unable to find them, go and Google it and then uh, identify multiple agencies who can show send you quotes. Oops. Okay. Uh, how frequently can we change keywords? Can we change it on a daily basis? No, you don't do it on a daily or a weekly basis. Uh, good you asked this question. Uh, when you start SEO from scratch, it typically takes uh, between three to six months for any keyword to make you reach page one, rank one. Uh, it depends on how much content you put, how good the content is, how much uh, on-page and off-page SEO is happening to bring you to page one, uh, which is why actually uh, you have Google Ads. Google Ads is the other way if you're not appearing on Google search at all because uh, it's taking too much time. You could also pay Google and get a ad spot at the top till your SEO keeps happening on the other side. Uh, how do you increase? Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to answer your question. Should you change your keywords? No, you should not change your keywords unless us particular keyword ke liye aap already page one rank one pe aa gaye hai. So then you can stop doing SEO for that keyword, set of keywords and keep monitoring. Agar wo niche jata hai, then you should start again. Uh, if it's already there, it stays there, then change and find new keywords for which you should start the SEO exercise. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to take one more question. We are already at seven. So we are going to stop at that. We've actually passed seven. Uh, okay. Is SEO very tough? Is it in our hands? 
well seo is not a tough exercise but i would say it's a technical exercise especially on page seo is a technical exercise it's a good time uh, to uh, do uh, on page as it, it it's a good idea to do on page seo with a developer or a tech team or an seo expert because it involves certain technical things which you might not understand for off page seo yes you can do a lot of article generation but as i was saying as a businessman as an entrepreneur it's a good idea to um, to get it done from somebody else because it's a lot of effort let somebody else put that effort on your content and you put that effort on uh, uh, on, on on running your own business okay uh, thanks guys uh, thanks for attending the session today i'm very happy there's there's quite a lot of people actually in today's session um uh, your session will again start tomorrow uh, the session will happen at not 6 o'clock but 6:15 tomorrow uh that's the one announcement i had to make uh thanks for attending goodbye everybody